Hello, hello. I am back to help you do this thing called life. So we have been studying the humanity of Jesus, um, talking about his temptations and his emotions, just proving that he was a man just like us. Um, the word says that he cannot be touched. He is not one who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Um, he knows just what we're going through. And so um, today's lesson leads us to John chapter 2, verses 23 through 25. And I told y'all, there are sometimes I read a scripture and I'm like, now I know I read the word. I know I've read the word. Where was this? So this is one of those scriptures that I don't recall seeing before. But I know I read it. Again, it's John 2, 23 through 25. And it says, During the time he was in Jerusalem, those days of the Passover, many people noticed the signs he was displaying. This is the message version. Um, message translation. And seeing... Let me start over. Hold on. Sorry. During the time he was in Jerusalem, those days of the Passover, many people noticed the signs he was displaying and seeing they pointed straight to God entrusted their lives to him. But Jesus didn't entrust his life to them. He knew them inside and out, knew how untrustworthy they were. He didn't need any help in seeing right through them. So y'all that just lets me know, you know, the great Maya Angelou said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them y'all there's this thing sometimes we call it something told me some people call it intuition some people say it's a spidey sense uh some people say it's just like mother wit or um whatever you want to call it when you can sense that something's not right proceed with caution Proceed with the knowledge. Um, it shows me in doing my in doing my research. Um, somewhere over in in John the sixth chapter, it says something like, you know, Jesus even knew who would betray him. He still had to enter into a relationship with him, but we have to know how far to allow that relationship to go. Um, in this, in this particular scripture, it says how, um, they saw that everything Jesus was doing pointed straight back to God. Trust me. There are people in your life because they see the God on you. They see what it is in you, but doggone it. You better listen to the Holy Spirit and you better see what's in them too. Now, it doesn't mean stay away, but what it says was Jesus did not entrust his life to them. Don't put your hand, your life in the hands of someone who's shown themselves unworthy, who's shown themselves to be. And, and when it said he knew that in, different people believe different things. Again, what I'm telling you is my interpretation of the scripture what I believe the Holy Spirit is giving me insight on. Insight on. You don't have to eat everything I'm saying. You're entitled. You're entitled to whatever you choose to believe. Um, even when it says he knew them inside and out, knew how untrustworthy they were. I don't believe that that was uh, the omniscience of God. I don't feel like that was his all knowingness in play. I believe that that was his insight. The the Holy Spirit showing him. I mean, and even Jesus was still under the law. We have, we've been gifted with the Holy Spirit, you know, to live inside of us. Um, and I do, I just believe that's one of those things that he could sense. Um, discernment. God gives us discernment. And so... I encourage you, use that discernment. Don't dismiss, because so many times we see the red flags. We we hear the crazy stuff. You know, you get 
what the old folks say. If a dog will bring a bone, he'll take one. If somebody's constantly around you talking about other people, don't you think they're going to talk about you when they with somebody else? They will. And they may come around you because you have peace, because you have joy, because you have love. But you better know the difference. Okay? So Jesus didn't trust everybody. He loved everybody, but he didn't trust everybody. So you can't trust everybody. Let's learn from our big brother, Jay. All right. This has been One Moment with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you got to flutter before you can fly. But flying is in your future.